Hey everybody, welcome back. Northern Lion, Binding of Isaac, Rebirth, Challenges, Family Man, Nicolas Cage, Tia Leone. Six out of ten. Um, so Family Man, this is kind of what I assumed would be happening. Dad's key I didn't necessarily expect. Did we start with freaking Sacred Heart? No, it's, um, it's Hive Mind or, uh, BFF? Maybe BFF. Anyway, uh, let's write it down here. This is XH3PQ6V. Z. That looks like a seven. Apparently, I just lost all ability to write. I haven't written anything down in like three years prior to this. That's a really bad sign. In any case, this is the family man. Okay. So we got brother Bobby, sister Maggie, rotten baby, dad's key. Am I missing anything there? I don't think so. But I can't shoot. But I have to shoot because that is what is allowing me to. Uh, you know, actually generate flies and shoot with our familiars. If I stop shooting, they stop shooting, which is not good. You know, I guess we might as well use, like, Dad's key. Like, right now. Just get that unlocked, and then we'll pick this up again. We didn't even need to pick it up again, but it's not like we're gonna need to open anything else on this floor anyway. Um, I heard some people complaining about the family man, saying it's super, super hard. Look, I don't disagree. Uh, with, with the items we're starting with here, it's, it's not looking like it's gonna be the easiest run of all time. That being said, I'm not uh, super concerned because it it, it kind of reminds me of um, of beans, except wow, I should not have stood there. Uh, kind of reminds me of beans, except we actually do start with way more familiars. Now there is not necessarily a hundred percent equivalency there, because in beans we also had bean as well as black bean as well as ninety nine bombs. Um, but it doesn't seem so terrible to start with here. And you know what? I'm actually super stoked, assuming we live through this fight, which is looking unlikely now that I've been an idiot about it, but um, I'm uh, I'm super stoked that we're going to be getting an orbital one way or the other here. Rotten Baby is actually a huge get for us here. I think maybe I have more appreciation for Rotten Baby after um, all of the, uh, the challenge runs where it's actually become fairly useful for us. But anyway, um, I, I'm super stoked to have a cube of meat. That'll allow us to do a little bit more damage on our own time if we so choose to. Dad's key? How do I feel about that? The only thing that worries me about that is like... I, I kind of don't get why we have it, unless it... I mean, I get that it's a dad item, so it's like, you know, family, but... Maybe you could have started me with, like, mom's pad or something instead? Or maybe we have to use dad's key to fight Mega Satan in order to win this run. Surely they wouldn't make us do that, right? Northern Line, why'd you open the shop if you're not even gonna go into it? Well, I had zero sense, and I didn't really want to spend a bomb uh, to blow something up, you know? Um, I think we can very quickly blow up this tinted rock. It worked. Oh god, get out of there. That's this is Tomo. Tomo buddy, it's okay. I'm I'm in here and I'm safe. You don't need to beat down the door. Someone pointed out that in a recent video instead of saying Terra Tomo, I said Terra Tomo. I'll I'll get it. Don't worry about it. Um and then they drew a picture of Terra Tomo, which I thought was great. I'm actually super stoked to have petrified poop here. Please die. All right, give me a second. I gotta let this crazy cat in. What is your problem, freaking juggernaut? You're welcome into the room. Yep, it's the same room. Nothing's changed. This isn't House of Leaves, Mark Z. Danieluski. Jeez Louise, okay. With petrified poop, we will take uh, approximately 65 million years. I like to use that because it's ingrained in my head since, you know, elementary school. And we will uh, shoot all this poop. Uh, maybe we won't shoot all of it. I mean, that's kind of a staggeringly tall order for us, unfortunately. Ooh, that's a surprise. Maybe we will shoot all of it. I mean, the problem with this run right now is that, you know, petrified poop gives me the incentive to shoot all of it. But man, it is going to take us a long time to do so. But again... I've heard Family Man is very difficult, so maybe it's a, uh, you know, this is a test of my, my will. I will go to the curse room, even though, oh my god, Tomo, get out of here, dog. You're actually a cat, but seriously, move, move, move. Go into the, go into the window. Go sleep for 15 hours, as you are wont to do. All right. Yes, uh, I, I decided to go in there. I thought maybe we'd get something a little bit... Better than we did, but we didn't. Petrified poop or broken remote? That's a pretty easy decision. Broken remote all day, every day, obviously. I want to teleport every two rooms. Now, you can argue 
that with dad's key oh man we actually did find a black market there i think but you can argue with dad's key sure maybe we could get something good done with our teleportation but you know i, I think petrified poop is going to be a lot better for us so we will absolutely take a humbling bundle now, Nun's Habit is only really good if we manage to get a better spacebar item, and Magic Fingers is not that spacebar item for us. I don't know what I'm thinking here. Might rather have saved my money to actually use Magic Fingers properly. The thing with Magic Fingers is that... I mean, we have Dad's Key, so I'm not worried about opening this stuff, but the thing with Magic Fingers is... This seems like a really nice way to help... Oh, no, 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 get out of there! Oh, snap. Well, it seems like a really nice way to do more damage when we have petrified poop. So, you know what? I think I am going to take it. Sorry, Dad's key. And now we're going to leave because, you know, we have one HP. Hopefully two by the end of this. But, yeah, I think Magic Fingers on the Family Man might be a good, uh, a nice way for us to actually deal some extra damage. Is my hope, at least. What we will do is we'll try to be a little smart about it and, uh, if possible, not use Magic Fingers until we get a little further into the game. That was actually a really good black market. I mean, Nun's Habit was not good for us in that situation, but the other stuff that we picked up, relatively acceptable. Not to mention, I love the idea that we have uh, Humbling Bundle plus Petrified Poop. I'm assuming they synergize, but I'm not 100% uh, sure. And now I'm basically like, fuck the shop, dog. Sure, if we got Red Candle, that would be awesome, but um, I'm mostly just hoping to save money to actually be able to use... Seriously, where's our fly going here? Yeah, I'm hoping to save money to actually be able to use Magic Fingers appropriately once we get later into the game. Now, this will be a bit of a vulnerable position for us right now because we're not in a, a fantastic position HP-wise, but hopefully that'll... Oh, I really thought that would be the secret room. Hopefully that'll get itself taken care of sooner rather than later. We have enough bombs. I should look for the secret room. I was going to be lazy about it, but let's not be lazy about it. Let's be uh, smart about it instead. So I think it should be here. If not there, then it should be here. Wow. So it's actually... I don't know where it is. Now I just kind of want to take a crapshoot at it. I don't think it's there. I'm almost starting to think that it might be like here. Okay. There it is. Weird place for it. Um, we got two bombs back. Which, I guess all things considered, is not truly horrible. At least we, we recouped some of our investment. Not all of it, though. Alright, so as usual on challenge runs, we uh, we have to fight the haunts, because otherwise it would be far too easy. Does seem like we've been fighting the haunts. Oh, I really did not think I was going to get hit there. Does seem like we've been fighting the haunts an awful lot lately. Okay, this is like, this is your nightmare situation. This is the worst case scenario. Don't do your, do your brimstone. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you! Nintendo 64! No, seriously though, you're dead, alright. Tomo buddy, you gotta stop with this shit, man. What are you doing out here? Is it because I said Nintendo 64? Well, you know what? I hope we get... Ah, I don't think it really matters. <laughs> I was gonna say I hope we get Lump of Coal, but that wouldn't affect the damage from anything except maybe our flies. And there you go, okay, so we got Lump of Coal. That means we get to keep Magic Fingers, which means I didn't throw HP away for no reason, necessarily. We still could have gone to our shop, oh well. This is fine. We have uh, Isaac starting HP, and we're in a relatively okay position. I think Bob's Rotten Head is uh, a lot worse than Magic Fingers. Probably should have used that a little bit more vigilantly, but I think we've got a, a decent run going here. The question is, and this is what the question always becomes on these like borderline tricky uh, challenges, is uh, how far do we have to go? If we have to go to Mom's Heart, that's very different for our long-term prospects than if we only have to go to Mom. That was the most worth three cents I think I've ever had. Now, I gotta remember, if we find poop, we gotta shoot the poop. We got petrified poop. If you're not shooping the poop, shoot, shooping the poop, you're wasting your time. It is tempting to just use magic fingers, like, immediately on every room, but we gotta be vigilant about it. You know, if we find blood banks or something like that, we can probably hit a threshold of money where we'll never run out, maybe. It's maybe a bit optimistic, but it could happen. Um, credit card. Store credit. I believe this means that we can buy whatever we want from the shop and it won't actually cost anything? That sounds kind of ridiculous though. I thought I saw like B-Rex playing with this item though. 
Well, that's a lucky turn of events for us. And you know what? I'm probably going to blow up you as well, my friend. That's what I was hoping for. Get some fat stacks. We even got our bombs back. Um, so yeah, everything in the shop is now free. Is that better than petrified poop? It's going to save us a lot of money. Tell you that much. Uh, so yes. Oh, you only get to buy one thing. If I had known that, I would have probably gotten steam sale first. Okay, that's good to know though. I, you know, I fucked up. But I've learned what the item is actually about. And now store credit is gone. Okay, okay. Got it. Um, but I've got the piggy bank. And I think it was a smart decision to buy a piggy bank. And uh, I think that... Because now every time we get hit, especially if it's on like a blood bank or something like that, we'll get a lot of money, presuming that piggy bank and, and humbling bundle actually work in conjunction with one another. So store credit seems like a really uh, cool trinket. At least like a one-time use trinket. Like it's it's kind of neat being able to get a free shop item. I can dig it. Now, if you could just uh, actually blow up that TNT, that would be sweet. We've already kind of recouped most of our financial loss. Just would like you to to pass away if possible. I think we're just gonna go fight our boss right away. Now that we have petrified poop, I mean, not right away, because we have to shoot all this, but now that we have petrified poop, we'll shoot all this, and it should give us a decent amount of cash as a result of the fact that we uh, have Humbling Bundle as well. Okay, lucky us. As slow as this run is shaping up right now, I think this is actually like a really nice um, synergy for a run in which you're not going to be doing any damage with your own tiers. Uh, I actually think that we've gotten very, very lucky with the the kind of synergy between our, our trinket and our actual items here. Magic Fingers, I think, is going to be great for us, uh, especially later in the game. At least on dealing with annoying rooms. And, uh, you know, Humbling Bundle plus Piggy Bank plus Petrified Poop, that's going to keep us in the money, at least it should, um, with respect to uh, with respect to Magic Fingers. You got to respect the Magic Fingers, though, dog. All right, so we did... Uh, did we... We did. We took Lump of Coal from our last deal with the Devil. I think... That means that there's a possibility of a deal with the Angel, but there's no options for us here. But we got Magic Mushroom, which is just a great pickup, so I'm absolutely content with that. We'll be heading down to the next floor, then. Uh, this I'm looking at the map now, and we have to go to Mom's Heart. That's okay. Curse of the Blind means we can't see what the items are. Um, but that's okay. Very quickly here, we can pick up a pretty stupid amount of uh, money, as you can see. Now we can also do something like this, and maybe blow up both of these slot machines at the same time. That gave us a ton of bombs! Uh, I was hoping more along the lines of uh, HP, but hey, this is pretty cool nonetheless. Uh, I don't think we really want to make an effort to go to our boss gauntlet room. See, I'm making an effort to call it by its right name at least, but... Um, I don't know, it's possible it could work out for us, but I'd like the assurance of knowing that there's actually like HP available that we could pick up before I... Uh, before I make that plunge, you know? Before I take the nest T plunge, if you know what I mean. If you know, know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway. Let's not become Michael A.L. Fox temporarily. Not that I have anything against the guy. If I had to choose someone to be, that was not myself, Michael A.L. Fox would be on the list. He'd be up there somewhere. He's gay. He does well for himself, you know? He's a good guy. Good head on his shoulders. Grandparents like him. That's very important for me in my worldview. Hey, we got a black card there. That's nice. Gives us a little bit more insurance if we choose to play some more blood banks. Uh, and there's some more red hearts. So, sure, let's let's take a look at our whole um, boss rush, or um, boss gauntlet kind of idea down here. I didn't mean to pick those up, but we kind of got harangued into it. Uh, I should point out, by the way, if we beat this challenge, I'm pretty sure we unlock challenge 11. Which is pretty sweet, so this should give us a stupid amount of money. Now I would just love to pick up fanny pack or something. So we're going to go down to one heart. Assuming the game will let us. Of course, the other benefit is that we could just pick up an HP upgrade through this. We're up to 78 cents. Now, what did I tell you? One blood bank is giving us the, the potential potency to never run out of cash. I don't think that's worth it, to be honest with you. How else do we make this run work? Well, um, a deal with the devil... I didn't even realize that was open. Ah, that's a really good pill for us if we can get more in the future. Um... Uh, a deal with the devil where we could pick up more familiars would be amazing. Demon Baby would be super cool. Uh, even if we got something a little bit more dubious in quality on a run like this, like Sacrificial Dagger, I would welcome. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of good chances for us to to come out ahead on this one. 
I would love to get that payout, by the way, because our HP is going to be kind of a determining factor on this run. We have to beat Mom's heart, so we got to be thinking a little bit more than usual about our, our long-term chances. The sun. That's extremely helpful. We'll save that as we always do, uh, as if it were a, a full health pill. And that that's the kind of thing that can carry you. Occasionally, we found our second secret room completely by accident and got a return on our investment. Humbling bundle, such a lucky choice for us here. The only thing we're short on is keys, really, so I, I really don't feel like I can justify playing the key beggar. We don't know what these are, and that's a problem, but I'm going to buy one. Bogo bombs, I'm happy with it, and mom's purse, more trinket room, I'm happy with it. We spent a lot of money, but I think we can fairly conceivably get it back um, just by playing the blood bank a few more times. Like. We get like six cents every half heart almost, which is a stupid return on our investment. That is just crazy good. All right, I'm digging this run. I think we got extremely lucky to come across that uh, come across that uh, black market, but even ignoring that, this is a it's a very interesting kind of challenge. No question about it. Mega Fatty, I, you know, I wouldn't say he's my worst nightmare as far as enemies go right now, but he's going to be a little annoying, no question about that. Especially once he starts jumping, which I'm assuming he's going to do. Don't really want to be close to him if I can avoid it. I think we killed that poop with our uh, orbital there, which is pretty lucky. Okay, we don't know what our item is, and that's the real problem. On our deal with the devil, we won't know what our item is. Okay, so we got HP cap, which is good, for, or uh, sorry, blue cap, which is good for the HP. Got a little confused there. These are only one heart each. I kind of feel like I should just go for it. Who dares wins, right? Sacrificial dagger. That's what I asked for. And Guppy's hairball. These are like the two items that if I had to value, like it, if you charted the the value of them on a normal run versus their value on a run where you can't attack, they would be through the effing roof. This is crazy. If anything gets close to us now, it's in a bad place. Now, we did trade a lot of HP for it. But, that's okay. I think we've, we've made ourselves much stronger as a result of this. We can even, if we wanted to, play a little bit of that key beggar action. Alright, so we are going to gamble a lot. Uh, I don't know if I love the idea of losing this black heart, but I'm going to try because we do have a guppy item now. Okay. That's fine. It happens. It happens. And we're going to try to leave this floor with full HP. Do we have HP on our boss room? No. In fact, we only have HP on that like one room back there. Alright, let's do this. It would be sweet as heck if you gave me a blood bag. Okay. Tell you what. Do a little bit more playing here. I would love these red hearts, my friend. The balance of, like, gambling is more in our favor because of Bogo Bombs and Humbling Bundle, I think. I don't know if Bogo Bombs actually does anything for us. If we already have Humbling Bundle, maybe it'll drop four bombs, like... Two pairs of two? I don't know. You get one last play, my friend. Hey! Oh, snap! I love you. Okay. So we're going to go fairly hard here. We're, we're going to go until one thing happens. Either we get paid out all the way to 99 cents, or... Hey, it is Blood Bag. Or, actually, they both happen concurrently there, so how, what can I complain about? We bought, like, 50 cents worth of items, and yet still managed to leave with um, 99 cents... I think as much HP as we started with. Guppy's hairball. Sacrificial dagger. That's pretty sweet. I don't know about our like long-term chances, because beating Mom's heart with this run is going to be a little bit on the trickier side, but um, we're, we're more well-protected now for sure. Curse of the Unknown means we can't see our HP. Does it scare me? Yeah, it scares the crap out of me. But, uh, you know, 99 cents means that if I ever find myself on a room where I don't like the enemies... At least throw a couple of pennies their way. Like these guys. Three, four cents? Maybe five if I wanted to keep going, but a, a fly will take care of them now. Presumably. Yeah. Um, just just throw some uh, throw some money at the problem. HP cap. Or sorry, um, why am I saying HP cap all the time now? Um, HP up pill. Crazy good luck for us. Now we're at full HP. I think that puts us at five. You know, it's nice to kind of keep a measure of how we're doing HP wise on Curse of the Unknown floors I am still plagued by the fact that I, I suffer from too good to use syndrome on the spectrum of syndromes 
It's a relatively good one to have. That was bad damage, but we got money back. Um, that being said, I should have played the keybagger on the last floor, too. Ooh, nice. That being said, I, I worry that I'm not going to use enough money. Like, I'm going to end up being like, I want to play it safe. Let's not use magic fingers at all. That's that's very me. That's so Northern Lion right there. Anyway. That doesn't seem to be the problem right now as I'm spending like three cents per room just to finish these enemies off. I will sacrifice a spirit art to come in here, you know what? And then we'll do a little bit of that. We might want to curtail our spending a little bit, but truth be told, this is the uh, this is the side I'd rather be on. Spending a little bit too much money as opposed to not enough because, uh, truth be told, we would expect to get a lot of money. Oh, crap. <laughs> We would expect to get a lot of money on this run. I am going to buy uh, the compass here. Uh, because every time we come across a blood bank, every play is worth like at least four cents, sometimes six. It's kind of ridiculous. I don't think we need any more bombs. Or sorry, any more keys, I should say. Now, we can't afford to spend this much money on every single room that we come across. But it is worth noting, we'll, we'll save some money when we when we end up fighting bosses, because bosses are fairly immune to magic fingers, or at the very least it takes like 50 plays to do an appreciable amount of damage to most of them. Big rooms are like magic finger fuel here, I love it. Tomo, don't be mad that I'm hitting the space bar so hard, okay? That's just how I go, man. I hit it hard. What are we going to have to deal with here? Two blighted ovums. And a partridge in a pear tree. I had to, uh, I didn't have to, but because of the way I'd set myself up, I kind of had to walk over the creep there. It's not good play on my part right now. We got meat. Meat's a really good item. Yeah, I mean, it's mostly for the HP, I guess, in our current situation, but I'll, I'll live with it. I'll love it. Don't matter to me. Our floor is done. And I am super content to leave, because Curse of the Unknown is the only thing that really scares the shit out of me as far as curses in the game go. Necropolis. Wow. At least take care of the, the little minions first. I really don't love the thought of fighting Mega Fatty. How is that one still alive? Oh my god, he, he sucked me into the fire there. Don't even give me that shit, like... That's my fault. Oh, there's a tarot card up there. I was really hoping it would be two of diamonds, not that it's that big of a deal. I'm just going to use bombs to take care of this ding-dong. He'll be nearly dead. It was not a good uh, spell for me in terms of damage done. There we go. We do have some kind of special room here. This is definitely a money room. It was five cents, not that bad. Especially because we'll expect to get, <laughs> I was going to say, a little bit more than five cents here. Let's see what we got. Pretty fly. Hey, that's still amazing. Still liking that an awful lot. That one was maybe a little cost prohibitive for what we're dealing with. But, you know, we are on Necropolis, so I don't really mind uh, spending money when it feels necessary. I almost hope we won't have to buy something from our shop here, though, because this guy we can probably take out by our lonesome, you know? Um, there we go. Uh, I almost wish we don't have to buy anything from our upcoming shop, just so that we can actually uh, maybe save a little bit more than I have been saving. Sun card's fine by me. I'm, I'm skeptical about whether or not the curse room would actually give value for us. You know, we're kind of getting a little low on our HP. Well, we definitely don't want portable slot. Tell you what, I'll buy the Spirit Heart. Do we know this pill? It's Lemon Party. I mean, we bought it, so we might as well use it on the next room, but it's unlikely to matter all that much. You know what? It would have actually been nice to use it here. This is going to cost me like 10 cents, but at least it makes life a little easier. All right, with Petrified Poop. Have I been avoiding shooting the poop? That makes me an idiot. If we get lucky, we could even, like, um, nearly break even financially on this room. Get ready. All right, mom fight. This is um, this is orbital territory for me, especially against red mom. Wait for the. There we go. Uh, especially against red mom, it should be pretty easy for me to get my orbitals up in her face. There we go. And this is ignoring the damage from the flies and the other stuff like that. But if I can just get sacrificial dagger up there, that's gonna be a real problem. Yeah, that did crazy amounts of damage. 
Red Mom is really like the ideal fight for us here. So we'll take the Polaroid and we'll check out our deal with the devil. And well, whatever we get, it's gonna be free. Sweet. We got nothing. But it was free. Can't beat the price. Now we do have compass. That helps us out. We got a decent amount of HP. That helps us out. We're gonna go up here to start with. Um, and we have magic fingers. Which does help us out. A little bit here. I guess my commentary is kind of stuck in the same uh, mode here. But that's okay. We're gonna try to be a little bit shrewd about... Um, when I use magic fingers, I only want to use it on rooms where we're fairly likely to take damage. So I've been using it on every room thus far. This room doesn't require it, I think. Come on, flies. And if we can just, you know, basically get through this room as, or this floor as quickly as possible, then we'll have 25 cents or whatever on the next floor. It's Teratomo! What's the matter, buddy? Oh my god. Seems like magic fingers is like a pretty nice, um... Counter to Teratoma. And we'll get a damage upgrade and a range upgrade, which strikes me as being not immediately incredibly useful. Now, Mom's Heart strikes me as probably a little bit more of a difficult fight here. Let's hope that we're going the right way. Uh, two Gurglings don't really scare me. The flies alone from Rotten Baby should be enough to help us out here. And if we can save, like any money that we can save in the process makes our fight against Mom's Heart a lot easier, so. Um, I'm content to do that, so anytime I get the chance to come up here and do- Oh! Okay, now we run. That's how confident I am on Dingle at this point. Even on a run like this, I'm like, let's just get up right in his grill. For no reason. Well, just so Sacrificial Dagger can chew him up a little faster. Uh, this room... I don't regret that at all. Hematomesis is terrible for us, but... We ended up only losing one HP in the process, which is not so bad. And we still have this sun card. This is like your textbook use magic fingers room. And you know what? Two cents to take care of that. Don't bother me. Let's do it. Alright, so magic fingers, you're gonna go ape shit. At least take out the, the riffraff, you know? There we go, we're out. Now we start using orbitals, flies, bombs, whatever we can fit in there that'll help us out here. The sun card will help out a little bit. I think we're gonna come through Family Man just fine here. If we have to beat Isaac, why am I shooting at the heart? If we have to beat Isaac, we're gonna need a little bit of help from the from the game to do that. Not easy for me to get in there. Um, there's a little bit of money though. Uh, actually, every time we get hit, we get a little bit of money, which I didn't realize, but is actually amazing for us. So I can just continually use uh, magic fingers. So there's almost no way we lose against Mom's Heart here as a result of the fact, if nothing else, that we're getting money every time we get hit. And she's gonna stop after one full rotation and that'll be the end of this. We didn't even come close to using our Sun card. That's pretty amazing. Is that it? That's not it. So we do have to fight Isaac. Okay. Let's do it. I still got the Sun card. I got no money anymore. That's gonna be a bit of an issue, but... Please tell me, though, that I don't have to go all the way to the chest. I mean, we have the keys. If I'd known, by the way, that we were going to have to come down here, I would not have used all our money. But I would have felt really bad if we didn't use all our money and then the run ended, you know? Like, I'd, I'd ruined, uh, or not ruined, but not taken the most advantage of a good thing. We'll pop it just so that, uh, you know, we have the option there. Mostly I wish that I'd saved a little bit more money on the uh, earlier floors, but we bought good stuff, you know, we bought Humbling Bundle, BOGO Bombs might not have been that important for us, but it's okay. And we'll, we'll get a little bit more money every time we get hit, so we can't be that concerned about it, I think. Let's try some bombs down here. Whoa! Counterfeit Penny! Swallowed Penny. I don't know what Swallowed Penny does. We'll take that with Petrified Poop. I don't really care about the speed upgrade. I don't know what Swallowed Penny does at all, to be honest with you. I don't really care. Is it better than a speed upgrade? Probably. For us right now, at least. I was really hoping that would be the Hierophant. So, the most important thing, in my estimation, is making sure that we can use our Sun card effectively. And effectively, in this case, Pretty much exclusively means 
using our Sun card on the Isaac fight. If I have to use it before that, our chances of winning are going to go down a lot. Monster 2, not so bad with a little Sacrificial Dagger action. Okay. Don't want to pick those up yet. Also don't want to fall asleep because I'd miss you, baby. And I uh, don't want to miss a thing. A little scared. Sacrificial Dagger is doing real work here, though. I appreciate it. We were not even going to pick that up because we're actually better off at a half-heart interval. That was worth two cents as far as I'm concerned. Why did I come in here to fight Envy again? Can someone explain that to me? I knew there was a mini-boss. I guess maybe I thought, hey, it could be, uh, could be gluttony. So stupid. So I'm just letting uh, Sacrificial Dagger kind of do the standard rotation around me. I'm not trying to aim it too much. Just put myself in a position where I'm, you know, using it as kind of a barrier. I picked that up by accident. I knew it was going to happen as soon as I walked over to it. Uh, you know what? Yeah. That was uh, probably the best one cent I've ever spent in my whole life. I don't want to mess with you. And I would rather use all four of our cents uh, trying to fight these envies a little faster. This is going to be annoying as hell. I wouldn't have complained about one envy if I knew we were about to fight, like... Six. Um, but, uh, yeah, I would rather use my four cents to weaken these guys than, than take off, like, 2% of Isaac's HP. I don't care about that at all. So, we're really lucky that if we if we line it up appropriately, we can pretty much take out, like, one whole Envy. Very close to it, at least. To, with, uh, with just one rotation of Sacrificial Dagger. It sounds like it's an exaggeration, but it's not, really. If we can just get it, that was bad, obviously, but if we can just get it to rotate through us without actually touching us, it does some good work. I'm not even firing for the most part because I want to avoid uh, dealing with um, Guppy's hairball. is effing huge here, too. Uh, but I'm not even firing for the most part because I want to avoid uh, dealing with um, like the bounce that they get when they get hit. But the little ones, sure, they're a little bit more tedious, I guess. We'll take them out with flies, but the big ones... We can do, oh, jeez. We can do a pretty good number just with something like that. Okay, you know what? We got Shoop the Whoop. <laughs> For all of our trouble there, we got Shoop the Whoop. Now, is Shoop the Whoop better than Magic Fingers? You might be saying yes because we only have two cents, but I really think the answer is still no. I think we, um, hopefully I can just pick up one heart, get a half heart interval. Gives us a small bonus, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I think that because we get money every time we get hit, we can use Magic Fingers to do some damage. That was so bad, but we'll go back here. And we'll get our other heart, so at least I've learned now to pay a little bit closer attention. Guppy's hairball is freaking enormous. I know we can use it to block bullets, it just doesn't really stand in front of us. It, it kind of normalizes. If this is our last boss fight, we should win, but... It's going to be a tricky one. This is a tough one. If you count the sun card, we're basically at the HP cap. But we do so little damage. I don't really care about the two cents that are over there. We could use a bomb to get him, but a bomb probably does more damage than two cents from Magic Fingers. Anyway. I'm not going to be using Guppy's head, by the way, to try to, like, sneak in a bunch of damage. I'm, I'm actually, as I'm saying, I'm not doing that. That's exactly what I'm doing. But in my defense, it appears to be working out kind of nicely. And I'm still firing here, getting our orbitals in on the action. Am I crazy, or is this actually the, the perfect solution here? Let's use some fingers of magic. There we go. Can't stress enough, this is uh, real annoying. There we go, got him taken care of. I don't know what we do here. Just, just pay attention. Maybe this run is like a lot stronger than I gave it credit for. Get up close, spam the shit out of magic fingers. There we go. Um, I think we're safe down here. It destroys all the tiers that it actually hits, so Guppy's Hairball is actually doing some real work for us here. Okay, I think we're safe down here again, because it, it did make the the beam of light up top. Guppy's Hairball, most valuable item, 2014. I did not expect that. It's like, it, we're invincible! There's our trophy. Fuck you, family man, no problem whatsoever. 
So we got Epic Fetus and challenge number 11, Glass Cannon, which I'm assuming is like Epic Fetus 1 HP or something like that. That was a really fun run. I had a really good time with it. I hope you did too. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.